first and foremost, I want to say um, thank you for all the prayers and the blessings for, for my brother, the great DMX. I'll tell you something, man. My brother, man, my brother was a different type of brother. Different type of artist. Different type of creative. Different type of spirit. Different type of zone. Different type of soul. Since the day that I met him, he lived his life for everyone else. He, I don't... Never seen I never seen him live his life for himself. You ain't never seen DMX with a Lamborghini. You ain't never seen my brother with a with a with a Rolls Royce. You ain't never seen him iced out with no jury. He did not care about any of that. He was the biggest. DMX was the biggest. And let me tell you why he was the biggest. He was the biggest because he prayed for everybody else more than he did for himself. He'd get on that stage and pray for 15,000 people knowing that he needed more prayers than everybody that he was praying for. My brother would pray for everybody before he prayed for himself. My brother would take care of everybody before he would take care of himself. I've never seen a human like him. The closest I ever seen to a prophet. They compare no other people, but he is only one DMX. That man suffered every day. That man suffered from the day that I known him. He suffered. When y'all heard his first song, he was suffering. You know why he was suffering? Because he took everybody's pain and made it his. his. His humanitarian work should be celebrated. He was in so much pain that he would go to jail to have his freedom. Sorry, dog, I gotta tell him the truth. He would go to jail to escape his pain. That's how much pain my brother had every day. He would win a, an award, an American a Music Award, you name it, and then understand why he deserved it. Because he knew and he felt that other people deserved it more than him. He never lived for himself. He lived for everybody else. I'm in position because of DMX. Millions of people are in position and inspired because of DMX. My brother was one of one, none before and none to come. If he ain't fuck with you, it wasn't nothing I could do. But if he loved you, it wasn't nothing you could do. You understand? We lost a real giant. But he's not in pain no more. He's not in pain no more. You understand? I, I want to be selfish, but I can't. Everybody. He was the most loyal person I've ever known. He's been rough rider since day one. Everybody threw millions of dollars. You could not buy DMX. You couldn't buy him. He was never for sale. His loyalty for who he loved was never for sale. His family was never for sale. His integrity was never for sale. You might learn something from him. He taught me a lot. He was my big brother and my little brother. He was my teacher and he was a student. We've been through so much. We slept on floors together. We 
ride together, we celebrated together, and we cried together. He came to me the day that he left us in my dream. He was watching South Park. I came up from behind him and I hugged him. I seen him smiling, but I couldn't hear him talk. We wrestled, we would play fighting like we always do. And he got up and he grabbed me very tight. And he looked at me and he, he gave me a smile, which I knew he was okay. I knew he was in a better space. As much as I hated whatever space he was in, that wasn't in our space. And he walked into a room, then I woke up. Mind you, before that dream, my stomach hurted. I had the shivers, migraines, you name it. When I woke up, I felt different because I knew my brother was happy. I got a cigar, I got me something to drink. I went swimming and I played his music. Long live DMX. Blessings to his family. Blessings to all of y'all. He was the only, he was the only, he was the only artist I ever seen make gangsters cry. We're going to do it big for him. When you see me, you see him. I done cried 50 times before I could do this message. You understand? And um, we're going to keep the respect on his name. Anybody violate will be violated. Remember I told you. His ex ain't violate anyone. He loved everyone. From the essays, to the bloods, to the crips, to the vice lords, to the folks, to the Christian church, to the Islam, you named it. Ex loved everybody. This man had $30 million writing his music in the abandoned buildings. He would give his clothes away. He would sit down with homeless people and eat with them with 30 million in the bank care about no money he cared about humanity he was a humanitarian he did more charity than probably every artist I know the only difference with his charity is he never talked about it he just did it on a daily basis understand who my brother was understand who my brother was we love you King we love you we love you, we love you. I'm devastated, but I'm happy you're home. Your brother, this big nose, light skin, brother you used to snap on, we, we, we have fun, man, you know? Love you, King. Long live DMX the Great.